looking for an extremely profitable food business idea? Well, I'm going to give you 10 different ways to take your food product and sell it. And they are extremely profitable. And it's a great way to start a small food business. We're going to dive into those 10 right now. All right, let's hop right into it, and welcome to Marketing Food Online. We are YouTube's premier food entrepreneur channel. We give you all of the ideas, tips, and tricks from our experiences in the food retail world to help you launch your food product and create small food businesses from home and make them extremely profitable. So I'm going to dive into these 10, and I'm going to give you a short reason as to why I created these 10 specific ways to sell a food product. So let's not beat around the bush and waste any time. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to go from 10 down to the number one way that you could sell a food product and give you a little bit of feedback as to how each one of these came into play and and were part of our list. So number 10 is wholesale. When you create a food product, and this is some great beginner's tips if you're just starting your food business, wholesale is a fantastic way to sell large quantities of your food product at lower price points per unit, but in a larger volume. So normally who buys from wholesale uh, at a wholesale price point? It's food distributors, it's food retailers, resellers, and so on and so on. So if you're looking to dive into a profitable food business and get it going from the scratch from the ground up, wholesale and selling in bulk is something that was definitely uh, something you may want to think about. The reason being is that you can produce products in bulk if you have large batches of a product, break them down into individual units, And what you're looking to do is sell case packs as opposed to individual single items. So wholesale makes it into number 10. Number nine is food service. This is actually a a type of industry that a lot of food startups and food beginners, if you're just starting out, don't know about or not aware of. And food service is actually these food distributors who sell mega, mega quantities of food products. And they sell them to hospitals, hotels, resorts. Anywhere where there's a large cafeteria, even restaurants, restaurant chains, franchises, and so on and so on. And they actually sell larger quantities of the products, similar to wholesale in a sense. But food service is dedicated to a specific set of of restaurants and a a simple set of uh, food businesses that buy in much, much larger quantities. So food service businesses, you can actually sell your products too. And they'll warehouse it and then they will send it out to all of their clients and customers Uh, globally or even nationwide. Number four, local restaurants, coffee shops, and eateries. So if you're starting out from scratch and you've got a very small, maybe commercial kitchen that you're renting and you want to create some profitable uh, uh, businesses with food, look at your local restaurants, local coffee shops and eateries, cafes. Um, These are places where it's easy to get into or easier to get into than it would be a franchise chain or if it would be a national grocery chain, for instance, where you've got a lot of corporate buyers and you've got people who make decisions in a corporate building who don't have really anything to do with the local community. But getting into local mom and pop restaurants, coffee shops and places are a good way to start. And it can become very profitable because you can produce your product in small batches and you can make really good margins once you get them in numerous amounts of stores, several stores within a small radius of where you live. That is a great way to get your feet uh, feet wet and get started when you're looking at a local food business. Now, number seven, local festivals, farmers markets, and events. There are numerous different types of concerts, sporting events, um, festivals, farmers markets, and such where you can get in and sell large quantities of products within a small period of, of time even just over over a period of a a weekend from a Saturday to a Sunday. And if you get yourself into some of these um, that I've heard about in California, Texas, and even parts of Florida and New York, these events over a span of a weekend can get anywhere from 50 to 100,000 people. And that small amount of time can be extremely profitable for your food product. So number six is mom and pop stores, mom and pop grocery stores. What I mean by mom and pops is independently owned grocery stores. They are a lot easier and a lot faster to get into. Similar to what I mentioned before 
in regards to the coffee shops and restaurants, but these types of grocery stores are independently owned. So a lot of times the buying is done right at the store level. You can either get a store manager or someone on, on staff who is in charge of bringing new products on, but you meet with them in person, you shake their hand, you bring in a couple samples, and it's a lot easier to get into those stores than it would be something like a Publix or Kroger, Wagmans and, and such, because those nationwide chains have a lot of hoops to jump through. Get your feet wet, get started, get some cash flow moving, and get into some local grocery stores. Number five, online. Selling food online through Etsy, eBay, Amazon is, is something that can be extremely profitable and can move extreme amounts of product. Reason why I say that is, of course, I've been online for literally 12 years now. When you first get started, it, it, you have to understand how e-commerce works and you got to be patient with the process. Once you get up and running, though, you have literally the entire planet at your door. Uh, using Etsy alone, I have actually shipped our products to 15 different countries, um, and, it, and it's opened huge doors of opportunities for us. Um, profitable uh, food business to start, and you can start small. It could be a small-scale food business idea, you know, doing it uh, from a home or from a commercial kitchen and getting yourself online. But being online, even on your own website, gives you an opportunity to be way outside of just the local eateries and local businesses. Number four is sporting events. Yes, sporting events have numerous food kiosks, different types of food carts, mobile food carts, even potentially even renting a food truck on the weekend. But the amount of food you can turn over in some of these events is astronomical. Some of these college stadiums, for instance, have uh, anywhere from 50 to 100,000 seats in one stadium. could be an extremely profitable weekend selling food or even just one singular event that can, you can make thousands of dollars. Number three, you can actually get other people to sell your product. If you get your, your business up to uh, one of these affiliate programs where other people can promote your food product and they get a portion, like you get a percentage of the product that they sell. That's part of the affiliate program. And it wouldn't be you actually promoting affiliates. You're re relying on other people to actually promote your food product. Sign up on one of these platforms and you allow yourself to get exposure through all of their social media and all of their potential uh, new business that they could bring you. And, they, and in turn, they get a small percentage of every transaction. But the, the amount of time it takes for you to get exposure utilizing an affiliate program is a lot shorter because there's so many people who are signing up to promote products. You can allow them to do kind of like the, uh, the legwork for you. Number two, Costco, Sam's, and BJ's bulk box stores that sell huge quantities of product why is that hugely profitable because of the amount of product they can sell and the quantity the size of the packaging of your product you can move an enormous amount of your product these methods now to do that is of course you would be in a commercial facility you would be have some type of a of a commercial kitchen where you're preparing a food product or even renting a place um, and producing that. And of course, there's a few guidelines dealing with larger companies that of course you would have to deal with. Um, having some food insurance, being incorporated and so on and so on. Um, but it's definitely a way to move a tremendous amount of food product and it's extremely profitable because they've got stores everywhere from east to west coast. So number one, national chain grocery stores and having a co-packer produce your product. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Damien, that, may, that sounds like quite a bit of money to invest to get started. You could start very small, and you can get your foot in the door with a Kroger, with a Wegmans, with a Publix, any of these large uh, chains, and you could get a couple of stores at a time and little by little being rolled out throughout the company and then company-wide. And you can actually get co-packers to produce it for you. And then your next question might be, well, doesn't it cost a lot of money to have a co-packer? Not if you're comparing it to you producing the quantity of product that these stores would need in comparison to them doing it for you and in a faster, more efficient manner, it actually costs you less if you worked with a co-packer or a private label company and had them produce it for you. But is it profitable? Sure it is. It's hugely profitable because you're actually getting your product in a store chain that is literally in almost every single state. Now, obviously, Publix and a couple of other Wagmans and such, they're not nationwide chains. But when you start to get one state rolled out with another state and so on and so on, it gives you a much easier way to get your foot into a much larger chain of grocery stores. So national grocery chains from east to west coast and utilizing a co-packer is the most profitable endeavor that you can do when a small business. So uh, if any of these were great, please do give me a big thumbs up. If you like the list, if you have questions about any of these on the list, as always, please do let me know down below. And again, 
This is Marketing Food Online, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching Marketing Food Online. And if you are looking to create your own food truck, start a home-based food business under the Cottage Food Law, franchise a food operation, start a packaged food business, private label your own food product, sell on Amazon, get your own online store or sell food online. Remember to subscribe and check out these videos for more resources. Take care.